So the Zapotex, they discover that we are an energy ball, which is the size of our arms. It's like the aura. So this energy ball, it's uh, it's made of any lines of energy. I... So here, let's say this symbol can represent the energy ball. And this energy ball has many lines of energy. You can barely see them here. So, we are made of many lines of energy. It's like all the spectrum of light. But we're not aware, we, we're not always using all of the lines of energy. When we born, we humans, we born using just a few lines of energy. Let's say here we can see that this line crosses this square. So we're using just one kind of energy. And due to culture, society, this square over here that interpretates the lines of energy, the square fixes its position, its position to only one point. So that's why our minds get narrower and narrower. We do not accept other possibilities. We take for granted many things. But what Zapotex discovered is that when we dream, this square, it moves by itself naturally. So when we dream, the square, it moves randomly and uses other lines of energy. That's why you dream that you can dream that you can fly, you could dream that you are talking to people you don't really know, you don't you haven't seen people from the past, the future. You can dream that you are somewhere else, far away. But for the Zapotex, those dreams were as real as this world that we can see and touch. So they developed techniques to control the movement of the square. Remember the square? So I, I can give you a tip, you can try it at home. Before you go to bed, like train yourself, tell yourself to look for your hands while you are dreaming. Look at your hands while, while you are dreaming. That will make your dream clearer. What that, what that does is it fixes the position of the square in whatever position it has reached within your energy ball. So it makes your dream clearer and clearer. Some Zapotecs got so good at it that they never came back to this reality. Just kidding. So, yeah. <clears throat> um, once you see that we're all energy, uh, you realize that we're all connected. We're all part of the same energy. Yeah. Design this. Like this pattern represents all the lines of energy. Here, this line of energy. This this energy comes from God, from the cosmos, from Yahweh, Jehovah, whatever you like to call it. They call it the gift of the ego, this energy. The energy comes in different vibrations. We represent that with different colors. So one of those vibrations is human energy, which is yellow. Other plants and other animals have a different type of energy, a different vibration, a different color. But we're all part of the same energy. We are all connected, related to each other. So, you, you may have heard legends about shamans who can become a deer, an eagle, a jaguar, fire, wind, anything else. They're just switching from one type of energy to another. So it's not something impossible for shamans. But we are just too, I don't know, domesticated. We have our square in only one position. We do not accept other realities, other dimensions. 
So, <clears throat> also, they, they discovered that when you get sad or angry, your energy ball, it get cracks where you can lose energy, or oh, here, where you can lose energy. So, you can lose energy or other energies surrounding us, like bad or negative energy, can enter our body and damage us. And that's when we get sick. But what they discover as well is that when we laugh, when we smile, our body or energy ball, it vibrates, it generates more conscious, more energy to heal itself, to repair itself. So <clears throat> we also weave uh, smiles. And here you have the symbol of the smile. These are like lines of smile. Actually, the name for uh, this pattern in Zapotec is, uh, we say, Sintlayum, which means a line of teeth. And you can see this like teeth like pattern. I guess this guy didn't brush his teeth. <laughs> That's why he's so brown. Just kidding. Right? <laughs> so. Yes, that's why, like, our culture, it's, uh, it's very, you know, if you meet a Zapotec, he's always happy, he make fun, he, he's joking, he, he, he takes it easy. So, this is a happy rug. What else? Okay, I think that's enough for today. <laughs> Something to think about.